We live in a world where the air we breathe holds the key to electrifying our civilization. In a similar way that Nikolai Tesla described when he published plans to provide free wireless energy for humanity. Today, we embark on a journey that will ignite our imagination and illuminate our path toward becoming a type one civilization. So stay tuned until the end as we unveil the extraordinary story of the air gen effect. This groundbreaking discovery would allow humanity to harvest energy from thin air and forever transform how we obtain energy. My name is Christian, and I'll be directing our course as we discover the incoming revolution that could change our lives and history. Recently, at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, an ingenious group of engineers have unlocked the secret to continuously harvesting electricity from the very humidity in the air. Their secret weapon? Nanopores. Microscopic holes smaller in diameter than a thousandth of a human hair, creating something called a mean-free path, which is the distance a single molecule can travel before colliding with other molecules of the same substance. It all started with an awe-inspiring strategy. They generated electricity from the air using protein nanowires cultivated from bacteria and stacked layers on top of each other. As humid air passes through the air gen material's microscopic holes, the water molecules directly contact the first upper layer, then the lower chamber in the film. This creates a charge imbalance similar to a storm cloud, which generates electricity. What makes this recent study about the air gen effect interesting is that the researchers obtained a genuine proof of concept, but they also divulged some game-changing revelations. According to the researchers, nearly any material can be transformed into a device that continuously generates electricity from the humidity in the air. It turns out the air gen effect is like the Swiss army knife of renewable energy. And if those nanopores along with the other necessary hardware is designed, it could lead to endless possibilities. Envision a future where your smartphone, buildings, even electric cars can thrive on clean energy harvested from thin air. This could make many other energy alternatives redundant help phase out fossil fuels, and change fundamental parts of how humanity interacts with technology. The airgen effect is a chameleon of clean energy, since it would in theory be integrated within specific electronic devices or infrastructure. Meanwhile, solar panels rely on the sun's affection. Wind turbines are at the mercy of gusts and gales. Then hydroelectric dams follow the rhythm of the water. But the air gen effect dances with the ambient humidity, transforming every breath into a symphony of clean power. The most significant flaws with solar or wind is that they're intermittent, meaning they are only available whenever the sun is shining or wind is blowing. But second to that is the need for large amounts of land to set up a power plant. Hydroelectric dams are the most utilized renewable energy, but there is a limit to how many can be built on the rivers in the world. And all three forms of renewable energy require large sums of valuable raw materials. However, in the future, air gen technologies could be generating electricity exactly where it's needed. And if researchers are correct in saying we can utilize nearly any material to create these systems, we could strategically choose materials that are cheap and abundant on Earth. Now, Let's take a deeper dive into the boundless potential of the air gen effect. Picture a world where the electricity flows as freely as the air we breathe, from bustling cities to remote villages or isolated natural environments. This revolutionary technology brings hope and progress to every corner of the globe. Air gen technology offers a myriad of ingenious solutions that could usher in a better world for everyone. For instance, Airgen could provide a unique advantage in the depths of marine environments where conventional power sources are scarce. By equipping underwater robotic devices and sensors with nanopores, it could tap into the humidity present in the seawater, enabling extended and more efficient exploration of that part of the Earth we know least about. Wildlife reserves and conservation areas could also benefit from the airgen effect, powering monitoring systems and remote cameras without relying on the traditional power sources that we're used to. This minimizes the human intervention and ecological disruption, helping to protect endangered species. In times of natural disasters and humanitarian crises, 
access to electricity is crucial. Portable airgen powered devices could act as emergency power sources, providing energy for essential medical equipment, communication devices, and lighting. For off-grid remote communities with limited access to conventional power, airgen could become a lifeline. Integrating small-scale airgen devices into homes and community centers could ensure continuous supply of energy all without the need for extensive infrastructure to be built. Even in urban areas, airgen technology could revolutionize our daily lives. Public charging stations equipped with airgen integrations might eliminate the need for outlets, guaranteeing uninterrupted power supply for our smartphones, tablets, and autonomous robots. They're coming. I want to clarify once more though, airgen technology is still in its early development stage and has not left the lab as far as I know. But despite the challenges ahead, it offers a unique path forward for powering our cities, exploration, and populations in desperate need. We need a unified front to investigate and fund this potential panacea to our energy problems. But the words of Neil deGrasse Tyson are ringing loudly for me. In a recent interview, he explained that historically, humanity only writes big checks for three reasons. One, religion or God. Two, for war and three, the I don't want to die reason. All of these are not the most positive incentives, but if I had to choose, I'm going with religion and pushing for Odin on this one. Whatever it takes to invest in more of this research. Airgen tech may not be the sole answer to our energy needs, but if it's viable in the future, it should play a vital note in the symphony of renewables. Together we can compose a future where solar, wind, hydro, and the air gen effect intertwine harmoniously. For more videos like this one, like and subscribe because after all, I'll definitely have more insightful technology breakdowns that will help us become a type one civilization. Godspeed and may Odin's wind be at your back. Nope, that's lame.